hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video i'm going to walk you through how i completed the entire flow of an order now this is not really the best way to complete the flow because in real world uh, storefronts the flow is a little different because we have payment gateways and stuff like that and there are you know confirmation web hooks coming from payment gateways which confirm that the payment was made which in our case we won't have so instead what i did was i created one page so that we get the entire flow just to understand how things work now where is my admin let me see my admin should be this and uh, demo.vendor.io slash admin Let me quickly log in, super admin. Okay, and you might be looking at few orders. Yes, uh, this is something which I have done recently. I tested the entire code so that I understand whether it is perfectly working or not. And based on that, we will start. So if I go to my card page, I don't see anything, something which I'll have to no, add with a no content thing but basically what i can see is there is no active order so why don't we go to the product we add that now it is showing up in our cart this is something which we have already done i proceed to check out now in my last video i showed you how you now we added the address i can add one more if required it's mumbai let's just say office office address oops yeah something something right i know i n n like this okay so we we remove we can remove this address and we can select this address and what i have also done is added the same address as the billing one so if i go to my admin screen go to active orders this is the recent order which we are working with so you can see the shipping address is office address, billing address is the office, uh, again, the office address because I selected and I said both, right? So this is something which is happening. Then in here, if you go to orders, right? Active, you will see there's no shipping selected, but these are the two shipping methods available. I can select, let's just say express shipping. And now if I refresh my order, active one, it says, express shipping so which means you know that has been added over here then i make a payment and with that i select the standard payment this is the entire flow that i have done so far and now as you can see because the payment was made okay it says payment authorized can you see this right and after this what happens is the order basically comes into the admins open thing this is the order which we are looking at 17 seconds ago and then the storefront api basically ends because once the admin has got an order the payment has been made the one thing which needs to happen is a webhook needs to come and say that the payment was authorized right or rather the payment happened so you know the settlement of payment should uh, be the function which needs to be executed but obviously because i don't have any webhooks from any payment gateway i can't do this hence the admin does that settle payment and once that is done this is open for different kinds of things so for example once the order is confirmed the payment has been confirmed right someone needs to fulfill the order so let's just say it goes to the logistics partner and they uh, rather it goes to the warehouse they pack everything right and then they fulfill the order while fulfilling the order they just say okay it is going through let's just say delivery partner dp tracking code is 97654 something like that and they create fulfillment 
So again, the order goes to the next step, right? Let me refresh and see what is happening. So now the fulfillment, it says it's pending. Now, once the thing is ready, it needs to be shipped, right? So the logistics partners now comes into picture and they mark it as shipped. Once this is marked as shipped, you can see the all the orders over here come up, right? And then finally, this is the one, right? Correct. Then when the order is, let's just say, delivered to the end customer, there may be, you know, your, the person who is delivering it, right? They click a button on their mobile app or something like that. And then a webhook comes which says, okay, now this is the particular order. This particular order ID got delivered. And once you click on that, again, an admin webhook or admin API, right? Which will be triggered. What will happen is the completed order shows up over here nine seconds ago. So this is the flow. Now let me walk you through what code I have written at least on the shop API so that you, know, you can go through this entire flow because there are certain, there has to be certain things which you will do in the admin. Those are not something which I can do inside the storefront because obviously I don't have webhooks to do that. Right. So the first thing which I did was obviously if I go to my last page set address right inside the set address if I go over here inside my pages user my cart set address I basically renamed it from set address to set address folder and then index.tsx it was making sense that way okay and then as you can see over here, I have add address, order address, which is basically the shipping and then add billing address, which basically means that the same address, which is over here, right? Which I destructured, okay, is being sent to the billing address as well. And once that is done, we obviously go to the payment method. Now inside the payment method, what are we doing? We have quite a few things happening over here, but uh, let's just go step by step. I'll go through the render function first. So we first select the shipping method. Let me show you that. So first thing is shipping method. Why? Let's just look at vendor order flow. Um, user guide and this. There are two URLs and both are actually important um pa, 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 this is not the one right this this is the one so add item to order remove item to order adjust order line these are something which we have done check out shipping address set shipping method get payments transition order so this is where you know we are first we set the ship shipping method you know by calling so how do we do that we have shipping data eligible shipping methods how are we getting this data well that's pretty simple we are making a query use query is the you know hook which we are using from a polo client and i have alias that data as shipping data shipping loading and shipping error with that data in place i am displaying these two methods if i add one more it will be visible obviously Right, so the shipping address, uh, shipping method once selected, right, you make a payment. Now, make a payment happens by sending the state to the transition order to state mutation. So what I'm doing over here is I'm, I have a function called make payment and I'm sending this state over here. So make payment takes either arrange payment or payment settle, okay, and I run the mutation which is change order state. Now in the change order state, I am passing arrange, arranging payment and that's the reason from you know, adding items, the order basically goes to, um, okay, maybe on a different page, let me see. So because right now our cart is empty, if I, let's just buy something else, the hard disk maybe, okay. so. Now an order is created. If I go to active, can you see adding items? This is the order which added two seconds ago. There's, this is the hard disk, right? 
so it is in arranging items state then what happens is arranging payment needs to happen and that's why i am sending this so once that is done let's just say over here i added to cart and we set the shipping address based on the flow right and then we set the shipping method and we make a payment but so far just if you refresh right let me refresh this it continues to be an arranging payment but what we have done is we have selected the shipping method the addresses so now once we make the once we click the make payment button right if i refresh can you see adding payment becomes arranging payments correct so when we have arranging payments basically the standard payment gateway let's just say was used and a payment was made so once i click on that the arranging payment changes to payment authorized right and this is where as i said the storefront api closes because now it's the webhook which will call the admin api and the admin api will say okay the payment was settled the order goes to the next step which is fulfillment of the order stuff like that okay now so as we saw the change state was triggered by make payment function and then we are doing the handle method selection which is you know basically the the shipment method right so if you look at this function what i am doing over here is it takes either whether it is the shipping method or the payment method i i was trying to get you know both of them handled through the same function so if it is saying shipping then i add the shipping method and if it says payment then i add the payment method because you know they are practically doing something very similar so if you see handle method selection is something which is getting called over here and also this is getting called over here so when i pass standard shipping as the value it takes that and i am passing shipping as the method so it sets that and over here i do the payment method and that's where the standard payment comes into picture okay right so with that done basically what happens is our order becomes ready so where where is our last order let's just see again just so that you know we can recap we went through the entire flow of buying the hard disk now it is in fulfill order method delivery partner 3456 create fulfillment it changes to payment settled right and let me refresh again payment settled is fine and then fulfillment says it is pending once i marked as shipped right let's see partially shipped and shipped okay i'm not sure maybe if i had multiple things right it would have done a partial shipped but right now it transitioned to shipped and then there is partially delivered and delivered i am confirm that it cannot be a partially delivered because it's only one item so maybe it says marked as delivered and obviously now the dashboard will show you all the latest orders which got fulfilled isn't it so yes that's how we are able to complete the entire flow of a of an order you know, right from the checkout to you know the payment and then fulfillment where you know, the admin is also involved and yeah that's about it guys that's how the entire storefront is giving you the entire access now obviously i know there are a lot of things to do in this storefront project i will continue to add um, more niceties to it for example you know, the how the filters are working and stuff like that even if i if i get some you know hands on the ui i will try to spend some time to make it look a little better but obviously this is where things are at we have a working storefront and you can reference it in terms of you know the react code the graphql part of it and i'm sure this will help you understand how you can use the graphql storefront api of vendio and how easy it is to you know work around and create a store for yourself so yeah, that's about it guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions related to the entire storefront project right feel free to comment below and i'm going to help you as soon as possible